Rod and reel, so that's 11. and then the line is right here. We'll go with this guy. That's three. Oh, I think we might have found a ticket. We got two dollars for these. So then I'll go with this guy. Yeah, those are two. So four. I'm at 18 right now. Wait, does this one accept cash? Did it accept? Oh, yeah, put cash in. Start. I think. And the final total is twenty-five fifty-three over by fifty cents. Hey, taxes and counts. Turn All right, yourself off. All right, it's twenty-one dollars and four cents. No, no. Uh, All right, there we go. Bruh. Am I even in frame? Yep. So, hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Mission for Fishing. Uh, today we're going to be doing a $25 Walmart ice fishing challenge. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen these on YouTube. Even though it's a complete original idea, came up with it myself, didn't see anybody do it before. But basically what happened is we went in, uh, we had to pick out rod, line, all of the fishing stuff that we will use today, besides our ice house and our heater, and the auger. Because, you know, we kind of need those to, you know survive on the ice. But yeah, we're heading to a lake right now. Oh, it just hit red. So we are at the lake, and right there, there, it's all open water, and there's signs everywhere that say, yo, you probably shouldn't drive out here. So, we made it to the lake safely. We're gonna get everything packed up here, and I have something new to show you guys. You guys saw it in the last episode? Here it is. Oh. Alright guys, so, you can tell, I bought an ice house, I bought a legit ice house. Now you guys are probably wondering, why did he buy a legit ice house? He already had a homemade ice house. Well, we had a little bit of a mishap with the heater in there. Um, moral of the story is, she's a little charred, to be honest with you. It's a nice two person ice house, we got nice carpeted floors in here, we got a solid flip up and down hatch, so you can access your holes. I think it's a Japel DX 3200. Uh, I don't know, if, I'm, if I'm wrong, it'll just pop up on the screen here. Thanks, Doug, if you're watching this. And, uh, getting a lot of use out of it, and I'm loving it, so. So, hey, guys. So, I just spooled up the Rowdy Rod, as it's appropriately called, because it has a bottle cap opener built into it. Uh, it's actually a pretty hefty rod. It's uh, not bad. I only paid 9 bucks for this thing. I spooled it up with this Triline Micro Ice 6-pound test. Got this for $2.00. So, um, of these three lures, we got a little uh, vertical jig, or a horizontal jig, we have a Rapala jig and wrap, and then we also have a Swedish pimple that I could not, like, not look at because it was only a dollar fifty cents. All this stuff is on clearance because it's just about the end of ice fishing season. Thank the lord I thought it would never get here. Starting off as a search bait, I think we will go for this Rapala jig and wrap. Let's give her a shot here and see if that doesn't produce anything. All right, so we're sitting at about, uh, I'd say, I'd probably say a good 10 feet. Yep. That was a definite hit. I watched my rod tip go dink, dink, dink. Maybe it's too big for him. I think this is too big for him. I think they're really, really small bluegill. But a fish counts. Guys, here's the setup. Little uh, jig here, vertical jig, tip with the wax worm. Are you gonna like commit here? Am I gonna like catch this guy or? Oh yeah. Uh, oh, he's mine. Got him. Yep. <laughs> hey, it 
counts, man. First fish of the day. Absolute micro fish. Oh my god. This this is a bass snack right here. That is one fish for me. One fish for me. Right after I changed up to this little tiny jig. Wait, okay, let's establish right now. What does the loser have to do? Well now that you caught a fish. So uh definitely not a um size day, but it's a good thing we're going by numbers because I'm at two and Julian is at zero. Uh, so we'll let him go here. And he is also gone. So, alright guys, fish number three. I'm hoping we can break the streak of dinks, you know. That's you got him, you got him. Though. What What was it caught on? Yikes! Uh, Julian just kind of gave me a heart attack here, thinking he had a big fish on. Guys, Julian just pulled out this fish here. I look over and Julian's rod is just about in the water. I Dude. Was just on Instagram. So now it's one to three. Oh yeah, Julian was on Instagram. By the way, follow me at Mission Proficient on Instagram. Yeah, there's there's my plug for my Insta. At least I can make a video out of the day's footage so far. And that's a hit. Got him. <laughs> that's awesome. Another fish. Number four. Four to one. Uh, we have the ice house all darked out right now because we thought we'd be able to see down the holes, of which we can. This is why we uh pay attention to our rods. You know, not just kind of. Oh my gosh, it is down his throat. Where are those Dude. flyers at? These fish are all like about palm size, but uh, hey, it counts. So now it's five for me to one. Tiny fish, kind of getting sick of this. <laughs> all right, guys, so the bite has slowed down pretty significantly here. Uh, I think me and Julian are gonna pack up here. To end the day, the $25 Walmart fishing challenge, ya boy here. Five fish. Julian had one. Not entirely sure what we're gonna make Julian do. Actually, if you guys have an idea, drop it down in the comment section below. Let, let's see. How creative can you guys get? Uh, what should Julian's punishment be since he lost today? Come on. You don't want to do it to me. <laughs> what did I do wrong? <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone, if you guys like today's content make sure you hit that subscribe button, tap the bell notification, share it with your friends, and uh, yeah, today's mission was to go out, have a fun day on the ice, uh, spend some money, get some new clearance items for ice fishing for next year because the season is closing down. But with that being said, can I say it? If you want mission complete. <laughs>